I'm happy to be here today on behalf of Children's Minnesota. Children in our state are in the midst of a mental health crisis. The floods of misinformation regarding gender care are well debunked. Access to health care is not equitable in Minnesota. I'm curious in what your thoughts are of, of the impact of some of that false uh, mm -hmm. rhetoric. The rhetoric is really designed to scare people. Research shows kids and teens who can access critical gender care services go on to experience reduced levels of depression, anxiety, and related markers of distress. To see all of those efforts come to fruition in the passage of a bill like this that really benefits kids and families was uh, quite satisfying. There are generations of gay kids, queer kids, gender diverse kids whose magic and light have been seen as faulty, dangerous, or revolting. I was one of those kids. Children's Minnesota actually reached out to us telling us the hospital is taking a stance in support of the Crown Act. You know, we know that race-based hair discrimination does occur and it impacts both adults and children. And we're committed to promoting health equity and creating an inclusive environment for our patients and for our staff. And I believe this legislation is a valuable step forward in advancing that vision. Dual training programs support our ongoing recruitment and retention efforts by relieving the cost burden of these degrees or certifications. A key component of ending the mental health crisis facing Minnesota kids is to invest in the foundational things needed for optimal health. This bill does that. Children of color, and more specifically black and Latina children, are disproportionately impacted by food insecurity. Children's Minnesota is an organization that values going beyond the clinic and beyond the bedside to make sure that we um, advocate for a voice for kids. The family still does not know how much this infusion will cost them and whether insurance will cover any portion of the cost. Today I ask you to empathize with every family living with chronic disease such as type 1 diabetes and try to imagine what that mental toll is of managing that disease is. I have really vivid memories of sitting on the floor with her and crying because she was afraid that her daughter would not be able to live independently as an adult because of the cost of her medication. I feel like my voice was heard. I feel like my voice made a difference. I feel like my kid expertise did what it was supposed to do.